Hi, my name is Mackenzie Harrow, and this is Christy Gerhars, and today we'll be talking about social institutions focusing on family aspects and gender roles. Historically, Greek gender roles are similar to those of the United States for men. Greek men ran the government, spent time away from home, and when not involved in politics, they spent the majority of their time working in the fields. During free time, men participated in drinking and physical competi competitions such as wrestling, horseback riding, and Olympic games. At many social events such as dinner parties, women were not allowed to join in with the men. Men were viewed as strong and in charge, and you can see this reflection in the gods. While there are female gods and even goddesses of war, many of the gods were strong, powerful men. Going off of the last slide, women were more often displayed as gods of love, fertility, harvest, or wildlife. In the history of Greece, women had very little to do with politics of anything outside of the home. Similarly with women in the United States. The events that Greek women were allowed to attend outside of the home were weddings, funerals, and some festivals and visiting with neighbors. Unlike the, the history of the US, Greek women were in charge of the house. Along with the responsibility of the home, women were also responsible for bearing strong, healthy Greek children. Within all the regions of Greece, the region that was the most progressive for women was Sparta. Within Sparta, women were trained to be physically strong. They were also allowed to own their own property, express their own opinions, and manage the estates. However, women of Sparta were not allowed to participate in governmental affairs. In more recent history and up to the present day, most of the population of Greece is made up of men. Again, much like the United States, the modern gender roles for men are commonly about being the head of the household and the provider for the fi family financially. It is a common feeling for the men in Greece to feel unmasculine if their wives are making more money than them. This could be slightly different than the United States in the fact that there is a movement in the States for stronger worker women, and more stay-at-home dads. This movement may have not reached Greece yet, making it not as similar to the United States. The roles that modern women play in Greece would be considered set back or not as progressed if we compare it to the United States. In Greece, the standard for women is that they stay home and take care of the house and children. There are educated working women that bring in a lot of the family's income but only about 30% of the workforce in Greece is made up of women, according to the data compiled by UNICEF. Women are able to vote and partake in political events. However, politics is still a male-dominated field. Men and women's statuses have changed slowly over time throughout Greece's history. Greek families are generally perceived as large, loud, and very closely knit. This perception is rather accurate. Families in Greece are normally very close on both mental and physical levels. Mentality-wise, families make sure each other are very well taken care of. An example of this would be the godparents or grandparents of someone's child make sure that this child gets through school and helps them along the way in the journey of life with jobs or anything else that may come up. In the physicality of closeness, Greek families generally live very close together within the same neighborhood or block and make sure that they visit each other often. It is not common that you see elder people put in homes in Greece. 
This is because, again, the families will take care of their elders. Creek families are very proud of their family name. If someone is insulted, it is often taken as an, ins as an insult to the whole family. Creeks are also very protective of their family name. It is made a big deal to have your name be shed in a positive light to promote your family's success to others and make the public aware of your success of your family. There are different ways men and women are viewed through media, politics, and medicine within the culture of Greece. The display of men and women in Greece are rather exotic in today's media. Typically, when you see a movie or a post about a person living the Greek culture, you see dark-skinned, almost an exotic person on the beach. On the PowerPoint, you can see some of the movies that depict Greece, such as Summer Lovers, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and Mamma Mia. All those, these depictions are not truly what Greek culture is about. Television is Greece's most popular medium. Established privately owned networks operate alongside the public broadcaster, ERT. The government regulates the TV sector and five national networks. This was licensed in 2008. Media outlets have had to weather Greece's economic crisis in the past years. Some outlets have made cuts and others have closed altogether. When it comes to politics, men are still dominating this field. Women have been speaking out and making movements towards furthering their presence and establishing dominance in politics. 20% of the people in parliament are women. While there are women politicians, the numbers still could be higher and more equal. Even though Greece was the birthplace of democracy, it wasn't until 1952 that women were allowed to vote. Greek individuals are among the world's healthiest people and have one of the highest life expectancies within the EU. Greece has one of the lowest rates of heart disease in the world, which is largely attributed to their diet, which includes lots of garlic, olive oil, and of course, red wine. However, the country has the highest rate of smoking-related health problems. The healthcare system within Greece is among the lowest costing within the European Union. Greek healthcare system is a mixed system with various social insurance funds coexisting with the national health system. Healthcare in Greece is provided through national health insurance, although private healthcare is an option. Although medical training is a very high standard in Greece, the public health service is underfunded. Hospitals can be overcrowded. Hygiene is not always what it should be. And relatives are expected to bring food for the patient, which could be a problem for a tourist. Conditions and treatment are much better in private hospitals, although they are more expensive. This means a good health insurance policy is essential. When it comes to medicine in Greece, paternity and maternity leave are treated very unequal when it comes to men and women. Women 
are entitled to 17 weeks of paid leave, whereas men are only entitled to two days. However, both parents are entitled to arrive or leave work an hour early or late for 30 months after the baby's born. As you can see within this chart, the healthcare system within Greece falls into number 28 in the category of countries' healthcare systems in Europe in the year 2015. Thank you for listening to our presentation on the social institutions of Greece regarding family and gender roles. If you have any questions, feel free to ask Christy and I. Thank you so much.